Hi guys, welcome back to Aglasim official YouTube channel. As you know that the NEET will be conducted twice this year as the conducting body for NEET is changed. Now, NTA that is National Testing Agency is the new conducting body for NEET from 2019. So NEET will be conducted twice a year. It's a good chance for all who are preparing for the NEET exam. So, there are many students who are drop out and many of them who are still going to school and preparing for NEET. So many students are confused with the strategy that they have to follow and the timetable. Yes, the timetable is one of the most important thing that you have to keep because it helps you to prepare well before your exam. So guys, need not to worry, I am here to help you. First of all, I will give you a proper timetable according to month wise so that you can prepare well. So let's start. So as you all know that few months are left for the exam, so we will help you with the month wise preparation. August 2018, do full physics and half chemistry of class 11. September 2018, half chemistry and full biology of class 11. October 2018, complete revision of 11th that you have done in physics, chemistry and biology plus try to do mock test. November 2018, physics and half chemistry of class 12th. December 2018, half chemistry and full biology of class 12th. January 2019, that is one month before the exam, complete revision of class 12 plus mock test. As NEET is conducted twice a year, you can give the exam in both months, like you can give the exam in Feb and May also. You don't have to study all the time, you can take small breaks. Okay, now I will make your work easy with the proper time division. Firstly, I will discuss for the droppers who have dropped for the exam. 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Wake up early in the morning and do some yoga so that your mind is fresh and you can start with a fresh mind. 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Eat healthy breakfast and made up the task list that you have to do in a specific day so that no chapter is left for tomorrow. So set up a limit that you can achieve. 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Study continuously and make notes of what you are studying so that it can help you in the last moment revision. And please write your doubts in the another separate notebooks. 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Try to solve your doubts that you have written so that nothing is left for tomorrow. 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Have a lunch break. Eat your lunch and you can watch TV at that time. 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Take a proper break so that you can do the task that you have to do. Or you can take a short nap to give a break to your mind. Now come back to study again. 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Without wasting your time, get back to your schedule. And do the remaining tasks that you have left in the morning. 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Go for a walk. Eat your dinner on time. 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. Check the things that you have left behind so that you can complete them in the day only. 10 p.m. Now go to bed on time so that you can give a proper rest to your mind. Okay, this one is for the dropper. Now let's discuss the proper timetable for the student who are going to school. 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Wake up early in the morning. Go for yoga so that you can start your day fresh and get set ready for the school. 7.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Attend the school with a full concentration and write down the notes that you think are important and will help you in your self-study in a separate notebook. 2.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Eat a healthy lunch now and take some rest so that your mind gets some break. 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Give time to your self schedule that you have made for the need preparation or if you join any coaching classes, follow that schedule. 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Now take a break, watch TV and eat your dinner on time. 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Now give time to your self study like your school homework that you have to do because you have to give your board's exam at the same time. So you cannot ignore them. Give them a proper time. 10 p.m. Sleep on time because sleep is very important. Some extra tips that you can follow even when you are too busy with your study, don't forget to stay well and healthy. Don't forget to eat healthy food. To keep your body hydrated, drink lot of water or other fluids like milk and juice. Get involved with the physical activities like jogging, yoga, etc. To gain more focus, meditate for some time. Sleep on time because your mind needs 6 to 7 hours of sleep as lack of sleep will never let you to study with full concentration and dedication. 
I hope this tips were helpful to you. By following this sort of timetable, you will get plenty of time to study. Moreover, it will help you to score good marks. And guys, if you find this helpful, do follow it. So guys, our next video will be how can you prepare for NEET 2019 in 6 months. And this will be uploaded soon. So stay connected with our channel so that you can get all videos related to NEET. All the best for your exam. Do well in your exam. If you have any query, please write your query in the comment section below. Do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Agassin.